So we're going to make a hand plane today for body surfing. I have this board that I glued up previously and uh, it's cherry, walnut, cherry, walnut, cherry. And I have a template. I'm going to put the template on and center it. And then I'm just going to trace around the template with the pencil. And that'll give me the outline. So now we're at the bandsaw. We're just going to start the saw up. And begin cutting. Now on the belt sander, we're going to use it to take off any of the bandsaw marks and then we're also going to use it to round out the nose. So now in order to get rid of the marks that were left by the belt sander, we're going to use a random orbital sander with a 120 grit pad. Now that we have a nice clean sanded area, we're going to take our template again and I have these holes drilled here. These are to mark the endpoints for where we're going to put um, our nylon webbing through. So we're going to have to cut slots here. So this is the kind of surface that we're left with after leaving the drill press. And in order to make this into a slot, we're going to have to cut with the coping saw. Now even after you go through the coping saw, you're still going to have these ragged edges. So you're going to take a sharp chisel and just pare down the edges here. I've finished the final sanding, I've blown it out with the air compressor, and now we're just going to apply our traditional tongue oil finish, it's foreign beast. Um, it's not true tongue oil, but we're going to use this for the first few coats to seal it. So now we've done about four coats of form bees, and we're going to finish off with the Waterlux Marine finish because these are going to go in the water. This is the expensive stuff, so we're only doing one coat. So we'll pour that out. We've got our clean cloth here, and this is a lot thicker and more syrupy than the original stuff because it's it's going to be a thicker coat. Just gonna wipe it on like so. Get on these sides. 
Use a small brush to get in here. 